Hello everybody, it's Wendy and today we're going to make some dragonflies. So I have two different versions here. Um, I have this one that I've used some wire um, on him and made it just all one piece. And I like this one better than this one because this one doesn't spin. His wings stay very solid and secure in place. But there he is. He's really cute. And then I have this one and I like this one but I just... I don't know, I guess if you're wearing this as a pendant, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's up against your body, you know, if it's laying up against your body as a pendant, it's not going to spin. But his wings do spin around because I wanted some movement with him, so I do kind of like him. Um, yeah, I really do like him actually, but, but um, I made this one using just a um, long head pin here, made the loop at the top, and connected this bead as an eye pin, you know, on both ways, um, just so it would have some movement. And the more I think about it, the more I do like him. But I guess if he's laying flat against your chest when you're wearing him, he's, his wings won't spin. But he does have a lot more movement to him than this guy. But they're very cute. And these are done with 8mm bicones. And I wanted to show you some other ways that you can, t that you can make this. So these are bicones. They obviously work. Um, I have these wing beads on my website for sale and I had them packaged up four to a package, but I think I'm going to change it to two, just lower the price and change it to two because these are way too big for earrings. I think, I mean, I don't think you're going to, this is definitely more a pendant than an earring. <laughs> um, so I don't know that anybody, everybody would really want four, um, maybe, but I don't know. So I'm just going to lower the price down and put two in a package. That way there's more available. And, um, yeah, you can make a pendant if you want. So, let me move these two to the side. So, let me show you this one. This one, I'm going to make using these barrel-style beads on the bottom. And a big round bead on the top. And then some little fire polish beads in between. So, <clears throat> what you need, pretty much, for all of these is, if you want to make this version, you need a long head pin and a small eye pin. Um, if you want to make this version, you need a length of wire. Now, this is artistic wire. This is coated in like a, um, it's got like a plastic coating on it, this does. So, um, it doesn't really matter what kind of wire you use. For this one over here, I'm going to use just, this is like 20 gauge silver wire. Um, for this purple one we're getting ready to do, I'm going to use this. It's like, gosh, maybe 22 gauge um, purple artistic wire. And then I'm going to use a silver wire for this other one. So I'll show you here in a minute. But, so you need your wing beads. You need two wing beads. You need um, like three beads for the bottom and one bead for the top. And with these wings, I think it needs to be about 8 millimeters or bigger. I think if you go any smaller than 8 millimeters, it's going to look funny. You need some sort of a bead cap. If you can see, I've done a bead cap on this top one. You don't have to do that. It's optional. But um, I have this little flower, and these two are available on my website, these tiny flowers. I think it's going to be a cute little bead cap there. And then you need 1, 2, 3 three fire polish beads or rondelles. I'm using tiny rondelles for this red one and tiny rondelles for the yellow one. For the purple one, I'm using these fire polish beads. And if you want, like for this purple one, I'll probably um, use a spacer bead in between his wings. See how you, um, you don't have to do this, but if you put this little spacer bead in here, it helps his wings to have a little bit more room so they're not like overlapping each other too much. But you don't have to do that. You can put them right side by side and then they'll just kind of, um, I don't know, they kind of overlap a little bit. But I like to put that little bead in there. Okay? Then you're going to need your round nose pliers, your cutters, and your chain nose pliers. And I think that's everything. So this one, this version, we're going to make three. Um, and it's just to show you the different types of beads. So this version right here is using these long kind of barrel beads. Let me straighten this wire a little bit. And um, these fire polish and this big round one on the top. So I like to, I think it's really cute on the bottom to have a little spiral like this. 
Now you don't have to do that. You can just make a regular little loop if you want. But I like to have the spiral. I think it's just kind of cute and decorative. So the way that I make the spiral, and I'm not going to make this one very big, but I turn my wire at a 90 degree angle like this. It's a little more than 90, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And then I take it. This is hard to do on camera because... And I get down at the very, very tip of my chain nose pliers, and I start rolling, and I make a loop. A very, very small, tiny, tiny loop in the end. As small as you can get it. Okay? So, just like that. And then I'm going to take this loop, and I'm going to keep coiling. So, you move your plier, you coil, and you want it to be flat. So... I don't like to use my round nose pliers for the whole thing. Once you get the coil started, then I like to take my chain nose pliers and do it like this because it keeps it flat. See, if you hold it over the whole coil and then coil some more, it keeps it to where it won't um, overlap itself. Okay, and then I just roll it up here till it's right there on the bottom just like that okay there it is now I'm gonna take one of my barrel beads and put it on on these I put a little spacer bead at the bottom like right there but up on this I'm afraid these barrel beads are so much bigger that I want to I don't want to take up too much space so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna fire polish bead and the barrel bead and I may only use two of these barrel beads. Let me see. Yeah, I think two is going to be plenty. Okay, three is going to be way too much. So then I'll put the little uh, bead cap on. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to do the wings. Now, you want to put, put, if you look at these wings, they kind of slant like up and down. So you want to flip this one. You want one going up and one going down. That's going to make it a little more like a dragonfly. So the one on the bottom you want pointing down. So I'm going to put that on. Okay, and then I'm going to do the little spacer bead in between just because I like the way that it makes it lay and then I'm going to put the other. Okay, so here's what we've got. <laughs> they turn out really cute, I think. And then I'm going to put his head on. And there he is. So let me move those out of the way. Now, um, with this artistic wire, it's fairly thin, and I like to make a wrapped loop on these. So I'm going to bend this at a 90 degree angle. I go just above the bead, bend at a 90 degree angle, cut it, I don't know, leave yourself a little bit of room there to wrap your loop. That's probably not enough room now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> I should have done a little more. Get back as close to the bend as you can get. Flip it, just like that. Flip your pliers and go under with your loop until you've got this. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab these with my round nose pliers and I'm gonna take my chain nose pliers and I'm going to try my best. I'm not the best at wrap loops, guys, but I'm gonna try my best to wrap this very neatly. <laughs> just like this I turn it and you want to wrap it all the way down to the bead and make it tight if you can okay so there we go just like that and around okay so it's very tight now and it's fairly neat. <laughs> it's just surprising for me. I am not good with wire working at all. Um, everybody's like, watch Matt's crazy art. Yeah, I've watched Matt's crazy art. And I think Matt is amazing. But I can't do what Matt does. <laughs> I've tried. <laughs> Some people have certain talents at certain things. Other people have it at other things. And wire wrapping is not mine. <laughs> it's definitely his though. He's awesome. Okay. So there you go. That is one version of the little dragonfly. And you can bend it. Like if you want to make his little tail go like that, 
see how that does. Let's flip this around. You can do it however you want. But um, that is one version with some long barrel beads. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do it with some rounder beads. Now, these are slightly, not perfectly round, but you can do it with round beads as well. So I've got my three bottom beads, my one top bead, and they're eight millimeters. I've got my wings, a little bit of wire, and some yellow rondelles. Okay, so for this one, I think we might do something a little bit different. I'm just trying to show you like the variations of what you can do here. So let me straighten this wire. This is the coolest little thing, guys. I mean, it's like a little gadget and you put your wire in there like this and then you pull it and it just straightens it right out. It's pretty, pretty amazing. There we go, just like that, okay? So I think what I'm gonna do on this one is make a little loop, just a regular loop, and we might hang a little dangle. So I turn that, put that in a 90 degree angle, and it's a little too long. I should have made it a little smaller, but I'll trim a little off. And then I'm going to take my pliers, my round nose pliers, and just make a loop. Just like that. Okay, just like we have a little eye pin. All right, so now I am going to, let's see, I'm going to put the bead on first, and then I'm going to put the tiny rondelles. I hope I can find, yeah, okay, I was going to say, I hope I can find some that fit on this wire. <laughs> Put another bead, another tiny rondelle. I did check the other ones, but and I figured these would fit too because they're pretty close to the same size, but you just never know. And another bead, and then I will do this bead cap. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Then we're going to do a wing pointing down. I'm going to use a little rondelle in the middle and a wing pointing up. Okay, and there's what we've got. Then I'm going to put on a head just like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other ones. I'm going to make a small wrap loop at the top. And as you can see, I have way too much wire. This is enough wire to do two dragonflies. <laughs> I never know. I'm really bad at judging that. So I just, I'll save that piece for another one. Okay, we're going to get down. You want to get down to the very, very bend if you can. Otherwise, it's going to look wonky. Put it all the way around like this. And there's what we've got. I grab it with my round nose pliers. And I do my very best <laughs> to make a neat wrap and do it tight down to the bead. This is another way to use up like single bead caps that you have <laughs> that you, I have a little container that's got singles in it and there's no mates to them. So this is a good way to use those. Okay. Turn this off. Okay. And I'm going to just tuck this. I try to tuck this wire. You have to do it kind of carefully because you don't want to break your bead. You also don't want it poking anybody or snagging on their clothes. Okay, just like that. And there's this guy. Now, let me grab a head pin. And I know I didn't tell you you were going to need a head pin, but I didn't know you were going to until just now. <laughs> and I will see if I can find a thin one that this little rondelle will fit on. Okay, there. Well, she makes it almost all the way down to the bottom. Um, sometimes you have to use these ball head pins. I love these, but they're super thin. Um, but this will be, this will work. I just want a little dangle on the bottom. I think that would be really cute. Okay, so we're going to make the teeniest, tiniest little loop that we possibly can. <laughs> teeny teeny tiny <laughs> just like this <laughs> teeniest tiniest loop and on these little teeny tiny loops I don't like to make them wrapped because I think it makes it too bulky I want them to be tiny 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 and that's even bigger than I would like it to be but I don't think I can get it any smaller so there it is 
make sure it's closed up good and then I'm going to open it I don't want to open this one because I don't want to loosen those beads at all okay if I open that it's gonna loosen those beads and make my dragonfly not as tight I'm just gonna hang that from the bottom close it up to make sure it's closed really good and that's cute <laughs> so there's another little version of the dragonfly I'll lay them all out here in a minute so you can see them and then one more that we're going to do, and this one is a bicone one. So we've got three bicones for the bottom, one for the head, some rondelles, our two wing beads, a bead cap, and some wire. Okay, so this one, um, I'm using this deeper bead cap. I think it's going to be pretty. But with the bicones, you you can kind of use these deep bead caps, and they they look good. These they're almost cones, but not really totally, but close. Okay, and on this one, I think I'll do the same thing. I'll just make the little loop on the bottom. Um, maybe yeah, I think I will. So I'm just gonna bend that 90 degrees and make a small loop. Like that. My wire keeps spinning in my hand here. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna put on a little rondelle, a bicone, another little rondelle, another bicone. Another tiny rondelle, another bicone. Oh, don't tell me you're not going to go past that point in the wire, a little rondelle. Come on. This one's going to be difficult, so let me find another one. Okay. And then my bead cap, or my cone. And see how that kind of sits down over the bead? It's cool looking. Okay, then I'm going to do my wing facing down, another rondelle, my wing facing up, and its head. Okay, and that's this one. I'm going to make the wrap loop again. This wire actually is pretty thick. I may not do the wrap loop, I may just do a regular loop. So let me... Do a regular loop here. <laughs> spinning on me, it's spinning. Okay, grab it. And just roll it back and make a loop. Oops, somebody at our door. Which probably means, um, an Amazon delivery. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to just do the same little rondelle at the bottom. Katie's barking like mad. Thankfully, Chris is not on the phone. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to roll this loop back. And again, I'm going to open, yeah, I can hear a big truck out there. It must be UPS or somebody. <laughs> but I'm going to roll, open this loop up first and do it. I'm so, I'm so totally distracted right now. I'm sorry. Um, and then close this back up. And that loop turned out a little bigger than I wanted it to. I could redo it if I wanted to, but I think it's fine. So there is the fourth version. Or third version, or whatever. <laughs> So that's how you do these little dragonflies. They turn out so cute, I think. Um, and man, what a cute pendant. Hang this on some Coriana chain. And you could even beat up a little bit on the chain if you wanted. And they're just adorable. So there's the red one with the bicones. Here's the barrel one. And I would want to turn that probably so it shows. Like maybe. There we go. Just like that. 
here is the uh, dark blue one that I did earlier. And there, same thing. I want that little thing to show. And here's the yellow one. And, <coughs> excuse me. Here's the aqua one with the dangly head. <laughs> so there are um, five little versions of these dragonfly pendants that you can make. Again, the wings are for sale on my website. I don't have any 8mm bicones on my website. I think I have a 6mm in... Is it a 6mm? It may be an 8mm. Let me look real quick. I can tell you. I think it is an 8mm in emerald green. And it's pretty. Um, so that's up on the site. The wing beads are up there. And these little flowers, if you like that look, are up there. And I think that's about it. I do have some small rondelles. I'm getting some more small rondelles in, but I don't have them yet. But I do have bigger rondelles on there that would be pretty too. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, like it. Please like it. Uh, give it a thumbs up because that helps me with YouTube. Um, if you know people, friends, that you think would enjoy these kind of videos, please um, refer them to my channel. And um, the Facebook group is up and running. I know we haven't done anything in it yet, but um, the gemstone beads, I haven't talked to Heidi the last few days, so I don't know when they're coming, but hopefully um, she's been getting things sorted out. Bless her heart. She's sorted, I'm sure, until she's tired of sorting, and she likes to sort, so this is probably like, <laughs> she's probably really tired of it, though. But um, they should be coming soon, hopefully, and I'll get the lots together and get them up on the website um, later on today, if I have time. I'm going to take pictures. I separated out um, some faux leather into lots, and I will have that up on the website. Um, it comes with like all different shapes, and it's color color coordinated. But you get a lot of different shapes in you know coordinating colors, so you can make some earrings. So yeah, um, those are the new things coming up. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm gonna go get ready for work. So you guys have a great rest of the day. Bye bye.